what it do. Changing out this throttle actuator. This piece right here. I had this issue before in one of my previous trucks, but as soon as I bought this, something else happened to it. So I had to get rid of the truck, so I pulled my actuator back off. That's like a $500 piece. So it's easy, pretty thing, pretty pretty easy, pretty easy to do. Um, I, I can't remember, it's been a couple years, but um, these four bolts to hold it on. This is the piece right here. And I can't remember if I had to take this off or not, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's cause if I, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off because I can't get to the bolts with this on. That's what it was. Yep, so I gotta take it off to get to the four bolts. And those are four 10 millimeter bolts. And pull that out. It has one um, plug on the back side down in here. As you can see there. And then I have two gaskets I'm gonna replace. And these gaskets were, um, they gave them to me for like $12 a piece. So these two gaskets, $12 a piece, they fit around here. And we'll be able to go. So what it does is I forgot the code. Well, I'm gonna post the code in this video. And when your engine throws that code, it's usually the throttle actuator and a, and, and a check engine light. So what happens is, is as it goes bad, the check engine light will come on and then after a few cycles, it'll go back off. Then it'll come on again and it'll go back off. Then eventually it'll stay on. But right now, the check engine light is off. I just know what it is and I'm about to put my driver in the truck so I don't want him, you know, him calling me because, hey, the check engine light came on. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know that eventually it'll probably come on. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, and again, I'm gonna post the codes up. And what this one is doing this time, the last one didn't do. The last one just threw the code. But the truck still runs fine. It has a little, um, it does make a little weird noise, but that new one made the same weird noise as well. But the difference between this one and the last time I had an issue, this one hums. It, it hums when it, when you're when you're um, when you're on the throttle. So yeah, I'm about to um, check that out, get that swapped out, and by the time I do that, my driver should be here and he'd be ready to rock and roll. One quick zip with the impact 11 millimeter bolt on this on this guy on this uh, clamp. Man, I love my impact. Best 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 investment. I got the half inch and the uh, quarter inch drive on the on the battery impact. Love them, love them, love them. Makes, you, makes your job a whole lot easier. So now I can get to these four bolts and pull that off. So I got the, this is a throttle. See, see how dirty that is? I'm about to get a better video when I get it out. But this is the intake. It's dirty. Very crusty in there. So I'm about to pull this piece out. It has a, um, a tab, you pull this little red tab up. You slide that back towards you and the piece should come right on off. Also, once you pull this up, I forgot it was a tab. This tab back here, you push this down to pull it out. Once you pull this up, that's the locket. That's the locket, then you do this and that opens it up. Now I'm about to go get some um, some brake parts cleaner just to shoot up in here, clean that up a little bit, and then I'll put the new part back on. Quick comparison of the two. This is the new one, this is the old one. See how crazy that is inside? Now, this is the issue. See, right there, it stops there, it's play right there, and then it moves. See here? That's the problem. That one is that, that one is done. That's why it keeps throwing codes. So I'm about to put this new one in and button it right back. We got it done. This is the, this is the part number. Here you go. That's the part number right there. But I'll post all that in the description for the throttle actuator. The humming noise is gone. And the one one rule of thumb with these Cummins engines, you could tell when stuff has been replaced when it's not painted. Now I had a rebuild recently, so they had to repaint the um, the heads. 
So all this was repainted, but after they did that, I replaced a few parts. I replaced that. That's the, uh, um, the fuel pressure. Um, uh, it's not the fuel pressure sensor. This is the fuel pressure sensor. That's a fuel pressure valve, some some type of valve. So I replaced that, replaced the sensor, um, replaced the power steering pump, and replaced the block to the fuel pump. And those things weren't weren't painted the same color as the engine. So you could tell when parts had been replaced. But that's it, man. The humming noise is gone. Um, it idles a whole lot better already. So now I can see if uh, see how it rides. But I'm out.